Our next honorees are Norman and Martha Yoakum Lytle. Norman and Martha graduated from Georgetown College in 1957. Following their graduation and marriage in 1957, a short volunteer mission stint in Israel, and studies at Southern Seminary in Louisville, Martha and Norm were appointed in April 1964 as career missionaries by the Foreign Mission Board of the Southern Baptist Convention. They served in Israel from 1964 till 1992, when they transferred to Russia where they served until 1997. During times of furlough in the United States, the Lytles served as college missionaries in residence and as Baptist campus ministers. In Jerusalem, they developed a student work ministry named the Jerusalem House. In 1980, Norm and Martha were assigned to Baptist Village, a camp and conference center in Israel where they served until 1992. Following retirement in 1998, Martha and Norm both continued in ministry through their church, Crescent Hill Baptist in Louisville, and many other venues. Following Martha's death in January 30, 2015, Norm became a volunteer at Baptist Health in Louisville. Norm calls it a ministry of companionship. Norm continues that ministry to this day. Norm and Martha Lytle had three children, Beth, Holthusen, Ted, and Nathan. Their children have blessed them with 12 grandchildren. Well, early in my life, uh, we moved around a lot. Uh, I went to three different, four different schools at least, maybe five. So the most influential people in my life, it was during the war, World War II, uh, were, were, was family, and my dad would have been at that stage in my life uh, the most influential. And interestingly enough, my dad was a graduate of Georgetown. He graduated in 1932, and uh, I guess that's part of his influence because that's you know, he used to tell us the stories of his days at Georgetown. That's before TV and so on and so we'd sit around he'd tell us stories from his childhood on the farm in western Kentucky and uh, stories about his days at Georgetown so that was all part of my growing up he he lived when he was at Georgetown part of the time he he rented a room with Dr. Charles Hatfield that was his major professor and Dr. Hatfield was still there when I when I came to Georgetown so uh, I knew a lot of Georgetown stories and yeah, that was pretty influential. And then Georgetown was very influential in the rest of my life. The most influence on my attending Georgetown was, was my dad because of his having been there. But I didn't start at Georgetown, I started at Auburn. Uh, we lived in Alabama at the time and I started at Auburn. And uh, during that first year at Auburn, uh, I felt God calling me to some kind of ministry. I didn't know what. And uh, wasn't at all interested in the in engineering course that I was involved in. And, uh, so I next looked at Georgetown as a place to go. As I think back over uh, the influence that Georgetown College has had that has stayed with me all through my life, as I mentioned, when I was growing up, we moved around quite a bit, so I don't have any significant friendships out of those early years. I went to three different high schools in three different states. So it was Georgetown College where uh, really the significant friendships in my life uh, were formed. And that was among other college, other students. Uh, I've already mentioned Bob Fields, Bucky Carlin, uh, I found my wife there. That's the most, uh, <laughs> uh, certainly the, the, the dominant uh, thing that has stayed with me throughout my life was uh, meeting Martha there. Uh, uh, of course, we lived overseas 34 years. Uh, 
uh, after graduating from Georgetown. So our, our connection was pretty long distance. Uh, twice during that time, uh, the Georgetown basketball team came to Israel and uh, we uh, enjoyed being the ch cheering section for them there when they played in the international tournaments that they had. And the first time they came, uh, we were five Georgetown alumni there, Bob and Eddie Fields, Martha and myself, and my dad, because my parents were visiting us. So that was, that was, that was kind of cool. Uh, after that, of course, we contributed to various fundraising campaigns. And uh, then uh, we have underwritten the uh, Christian Service Award that's given at Baccalaureate each year. Uh, and uh, homecoming, we, we've gone to homecoming we, when we could. So in those different ways, we've stayed connected. My hope, dream, and prayer for Georgetown College is that Georgetown would continue to be as influential in the lives of students that go through there as it has been in my life and Martha's and others of, of our friends that, that we have known. Uh, it, it's, it's a treasure and I share that. Uh, I say, uh, since losing Martha, <clears throat> that I thank the Lord every day for uh, the friendships that uh, he's brought into my life and, I, and, and a part of that is going back to Georgetown College and, and uh, just the whole pilgrimage and walk with the Lord uh, in, in service uh, that began uh, during my years uh, there at Georgetown and I would, I would pray that for anybody that goes to Georgetown.